Morning right, team, welcome back to another video from Casey Boys North Queensland. In today's video, we're talking blueies. Now the other day, Tyler got himself an absolute cracker of a bluey. So I thought for today's video, we might go over some of the rigs that we've been using to help catch us some of these fish. All right, let's get started. First one we're gonna talk about is hand lines. Very simple, but it's the best way of fishing if you talk to Dad and Brett. The way that they rig their lines is that they have 50 pound, followed by a light sinker, then your swivel, and then you have 50 pound trace line attached to your hook. But if a hand line's not for you and you like using a rod and reel because you've got braid on it and braid allows you to get straight to the bottom, then I'll show you the rig that I've been using lately. And well, it's been working pretty well. All right team, this is the rig that I've been using lately because I love using braid. Now it can get a little bit complicated class, so make sure you're paying attention. Starting off first, I have 50 pound braid and I attach that to 80 pound mono. Now between the mono, I then have a light sinker followed by a heavy swivel. Now the reason why I put the mono there is you're not meant to put your sinker straight on your braid. It's not good for abrasive reasons, also you can get lots of tangles. Now on the other side of the swivel, I've got 60 pound mono as my trace line. The reason why I have 60 on one side and 80 on the other is if you get a snag when you have to break it off, usually it'll break here on the 60 side and not on the 80 side. And that way you get to keep your sinker, not just a hat rack. And on the end of the 60 pound trace line, I have a 5-0 hook and I always put a glow bead for good luck. And that's the rig that I've been using to catch my blueies. Now as for whereabouts I like to go fishing, I usually choose shallow water between that 10, maybe 20 meters tops. And when I'm sounding out an area, I look for a spot that when I see it, I go, whoa, that looks dangerous. It's got snag written all over it. That's your spot, mate. So take lots of tackle with you, tighten the drag up, because when it hits, you've got about half a second to get it off the bottom, otherwise, it's good night, Irene. All right, that'll about do it. Hopefully those tips have helped you out. All that's left now is put half a prawn on there, send it down the bottom, and hopefully it comes back with a big bluey on the end. It could be bluey, get the net. Oh, it's a big bluey, not that. Oh, proper. Oh, that's a nice photo. Well, 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 before we go, just another general fishing tip like last time. Let's say someone takes you fishing and they lend you a hand line. Maybe it's your big brother's hand line. Hang on to it tight, because you never know when the big one's going to hit. All right, I'll see you in the next one, team. Brett. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs>